to me, discrimination is any unfair treatment of someone because of um, like a, a physical characteristic or even a mental characteristic that they have. Basically anything that's deemed unnormal by the rest of society or different than whoever is discriminating against them. Discrimination to me is usually an unjust treatment or a prejudice against a group of people or a certain individual, usually based on like sex or religion or gender, or just honestly just putting someone down. Either you don't like them because there's certain quality about them or something. So I see discrimination as uh, basically um, treating someone differently or less than you would normally treat people. Um, just because they're different from you, um, and it could be a difference in, in, in any form, difference in um, maybe how you look, how you dress, um, difference in your, your economic status, um, maybe it's difference in your, your belief system. It shows up in the form of being um, rejected at, um, by their co-workers, not being able to come out at work, uh, Many, um, many of the LGBT people uh, just never come out while they're in their working career because they're afraid of being fired. I believe discrimination exists because people naturally judge each other based on how they look or what they do. And I think we just always want to somehow like compare each other to ourselves. And that's pretty much why we discriminate others. The whole colonialistic mindset, imperialistic mindset, whatever you want to call it, um, is built on the foundation of discrimination, racism, and elitism. Honestly, discrimination exists because people are scared about people being different. So, yeah. I think um, discrimination exists because it's kind of our human nature to judge and classify people so we can extinguish ourselves. And so when we classify people into certain groups, we usually have self-bias against ourselves. So we think that we're usually better, so that leads to discrimination against other people. Um, my personal feeling is it's more about ignorance. Um, many people think it's hate but I think it's more ignorance than hate. Uh, it's also just long-held beliefs. It's come through the ages of um, um, that person is gay, that person is lesbian, etc. And, um, you know, especially people don't understand transgender. Uh, the, it's just foreign to them. They don't understand, they're afraid of it, and so they discriminate mostly out of ignorance. Whenever um, something is different, there's something new, um, something that maybe is a little bit uncomfortable to us because we're not used to that. Um, typically the response as human beings is to um, put up a wall or um, just to step back and like, oh, I don't know about this. Um, sadly, yes. Um, being coming from like a Christian, pretty well middle class family, I think you see that it benefits you a lot, whether it be education or being put in different um, teams as a child. You can see that um, where you come from kind of pushes you off in the world, but it doesn't it doesn't inhibit what you can do up in your life. Um, I've been discriminated against before when I was younger. People would always come up and make racial gestures at me. And one time at Family Fair, I got patted down because I was Asian and they thought I was shoplifting. I was invited to the table at organizations, but it felt more like I was there for, just for the, for the picture. Um, I, I was there to make a number so that they could say they had a young black male on their panel or on their board or whatever um, but at the same time even though I was there I felt like my voice wasn't being heard I wasn't given the opportunity um, to speak into my community because um, you can't possibly know what you're talking about. Uh, for older people one of my concerns when I was um, 
I didn't transition until an older age. And I was concerned about um, ending up in a uh, retirement home or where I wasn't able to take care of myself and I'd end up in a, um, uh, in a nursing home or a, an assisted living facility of where I'd be discriminated against. I've been discriminated against for a lot of different reasons. Um, because I'm a female, because I'm not 100% white, um, I have a different culture, because I have a lower economic status. So that's looked a lot of different ways, um, but really the, the kind of overarching thing is that I haven't been given as many opportunities as like my peers. Giving them the opportunity to share their story and to lament this is how society, um, this is how others have treated me so that they can find some closure. On Until the... you like look at the problem and face it and call it the problem that it is with the extent that it is and realize that it's, it's institutional, it's completely ingrained in this country um, and it's not going away anytime soon. Um, that until you until you look at the problem in the face and deal with it, it's not going to go anywhere. So, I, in my opinion, education is the best way of doing it. Uh, I'm not one that's going to uh, stand on the street corner carrying a picket sign and marching and that sort of thing. Um, I, I think a huge part of that is at its core valuing people. I think the most common example that you see now in high school is usually people being excluded from friend groups or just because based on a certain attribute of that person. But if you go out in the real world, it gets a lot more um, complex on how people are being discriminated from like either nowadays you want to see um, because of their race, um, sometimes from their gender and certain like teams you can also see. So. It's an, again, certain people groups. Um, but I think a huge part of that is allowing people to share their story. Um, I guess one good thing about discrimination is I can be different and on the application stuff, I can check that I'm a minority and get advantages from that. No, it makes me stronger um, and um, makes me more determined uh, to um, succeed.